For more reaction on the passing of Ma Mbeki, I'm joined on the line by Chancellor of the Walter Sisulu University in the Eastern Cape, Brigalia Bam. Mrs. Bam, thanks so much for joining us. Now, Ma Mbeki was regarded as a struggle icon in her own right. What is the legacy that she leaves behind? Oh, she leaves a legacy to, to many of us in, in this country because she has demonstrated that in every struggle, um, there is a mother, uh, there is a father, and there are children. And I think she and her family were very exemplary in participating in the struggle, but also in participating and being on a day-to-day -day basis of her own life with the people in the rural areas, helping them in each and every way she could. And we will miss her, and we are very happy that she has been able to leave us when our democracy is fully fledged. And her husband, Omgov, left us when we were beginning to enjoy the fruits of democracy. In fact, we have a legacy from these people, and particularly from her, as people of the struggle, as the women of South Africa and the mothers of South Africa. And we will always honor her. And it was a privilege for us to be in her journey of the struggle and to be in her journey of participating and supporting every person in her life. Now, as a mother, um President Thabo Mbeki has said his mother played such a huge role in his life and shaping his political wisdom. What was her influence on her sons? Not only really an influence on uh, President Thabo Mbeki, of course, who happens to be, but an influence to all her children. Uh, uh, if you had one had had a chance to know all of them all, in a number of ways. One important one would be leaving over them the commitment the commitment to participate and be involved and really go into thinking, being a thinker, and being responsible in the actions that you do. And this is a thing that our president has done at Tamombeki and the others who in the family have had a chance to do. And like all of them, she she also set an example that you cannot be in the struggle without the sacrifice. And this is true of that family and all the members of that family. They have sacrificed a number of things, of enjoying the ordinary things of life, of being a family together and the children growing at that time. And the values of humility and the values of knowing that all of us, we are accountable to other people. Can you tell us more about her contribution to the Eastern Cape? We know that she worked right up until last year, contributing every day. What were some of the initiatives that she was a part of? The contribution was in many, many things. Uh, most important of all was to be with the people every day in the rural areas. So it wasn't really talking about them and talking about what they need but she was part of that experience to be in solidarity with them. A great support to the people running a variety of community projects. And she believed also very much that people cannot be free if they are serving. She was involved in the community development work in the village uh, where she lived and in the villages around her. She assisted women in setting up home crafts so that they can sell their projects. She was also assisting in, by establishing a small shop where people who could not afford transport to get into taxis, to get into buses, just to buy the basic necessities so that these things were nearer them. They were not very difficult. And of course, she was a great inspiration to the local school and the college that is very near where she lives and encouraged that this college has to be developed because education was key. And remained an education is not in the formal sense of being in a school, but an educationist who was involved in the thinking with the people on how they do things, how they plan things, and how they implement things. 
And this was a very, very important role that she played because she was there with them. It wasn't talking about policy and talking from a distance and running perhaps, you know, seminars and workshops, which is a method that is common, but actually being involved with many people in the Eastern Cape, young people, women in particular, in those villages. She really was a remarkable woman. Thanks so much. That was Chancellor of the Walter Sully University, Brigalia Bum, talking more about the life of Mom Becky. No more. ENCA.com.